Let's play this record. We're gonna put you on. I think you're born to do certain things. And I always knew that it was music. I was singing from the time I could talk. Like when people ask me like, so how long have you been singing? I hate that question. Because it's like, what do you mean how long have I been singing? I've been singing my whole life. Is there any other answer? Oh, the rhythm of the night. Okay, that's enough to barge. Whitney, this is the sweetest voice ever to record music. She is the person that made me want to be a singer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Her. That's where it all began. I was singing from the time I could talk. From the time I, I, I was crying. Like, when I was born, the doctors thought I was going to be a boy. And when I was born, I was a girl, and my mom was so happy. She didn't, she wanted a girl, and she didn't think she was going to have one. And I was born clearing my throat. I was like, uh, uh. And, and the doctor, at that exact moment, said, oh, we, look, we either have a singer or we either have a smoker. She didn't even know how dead on that would be. Okay, James. James Brown, funny story. I just really got a real taste of James Brown the other day. I mean, I love him and I know him, but I didn't get to know him until the other day. I was in the Winter Music Conference and we were all at Diddy's house after. And uh, late night after all these things, Diddy's house, a bunch of us there, Wale was there, we're all chilling. And James Brown starts blaring through the sound system in the house. And there was nothing I could do but try to like practice like my like, <laughs> my quick step, <laughs> my quick feet. But there was no nothing you could do to control the movement. And his, his, he was amazing, like amazing. Like some songs that I'd never heard before he was playing. And the, the, the runs and the, the choice of placement of, of his licks and ad libs, I was like, I need to get up on my James Brown really soon. And here we go. I'll be taking all of these and we'll see you later. <laughs> I never really knew what it was about my voice because I just sang. And um, I didn't even realize how much I was influenced by certain artists that I listened to. But I, I feel like ev as I started working with a lot of different people, I'd always get the, you have such a great tone. You have such a great tone. You have such a great warmth in your voice. And um, I never even knew because I have this like, really deep, raspy voice. And I, I, I didn't realize how distinctive it was until people started being like, I heard your song on the radio, I didn't know it was you, but I know it was you because it was your voice. The one thing that I do know is that when I sing, I really sing, I sing passionately. And I don't, it's, it's never just a, oh, I'm just gonna sing this and, you know, and I think that's, it's really important, I think, for people when they hear you because they can't see you all the time. So when they hear your album and they hear your songs, they need to be able to really identify that that's you and feel your certain, emotion on that one lick or that one line. And um, I, I, think that, I think that's important, but there's no auto-tune. So I won't be sounding like everybody else. There actually are no features on my, um, on my album at all. Just me and the music. It, it wasn't like a deliberate kind of thing. We just kind of were doing the album and every song just felt so good on its own. It didn't feel like it was, oh, we need somebody to jump on this to make it this. It was what it was, but then you know, like, then you get amazing artists like Busta and then Raekwon and Talib Kweli who jump on remixes, which gives it an extra push. So it's it's really cool. I'm actually proud, very proud to say that it's just me. And I don't want, you know, when I'm in interviews and I don't want to be able to speak to people and be like, go get it because T-Pain's on it and go get it because Wheezy's on it. You know, get it because you like the music. Get it because you like me, you like the music and you enjoy it. And I think, I think that a lot of artists need to get back to that and do that, definitely.